Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fault Behind an Item Frame. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> that was weird, I didn't realise that would happen. You can actually look behind item frames. Ooh, spooky, That that is that is super weird. I'm not sure why there are gaps in it too. Strange, okay, well, fair enough. Right, so uh, I've got some chocolate boxes to collect, quickly pick up and collect. Uh, they are for a project for today's episode. We're actually gonna be working back in the nether again. I'm so excited. Uh, you guys seem to really like um, the nether portal design, nether tunnel design, I guess, uh, that I came up with for the games district. And honestly, I still really, really like it too. So we're gonna head over there right now, although, in fact, before I do that, I sort of want to collect some more glass and not sand. I'm not going to be collecting any sand this episode, don't worry, I live streams off all that kind of stuff. I actually want to collect some lava. And if I remember correctly, there should be a way down to my old path down here, my old hub. I don't know if you guys remember this. Yeah, I had to like dig around the, whoever's tunnel this is. I'm actually not sure whose that is. Is that stresses? I don't I don't actually know. But yeah, my old hub. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> oh man. Do you guys remember when my old hub was like here? I still have the obsidian up from it. I kinda like that it's still there. It's almost like this was my previous hub and now we sort of upgraded and have a cool looking one up there. But yes, um this was the old place I would collect lava from. So I think we're gonna try and head down here. Yeah, you can see I've already collected some lava. So we're gonna head down here and try and do the same again without dying. The only problem is that I do get a lot of gas spawns around here. Now I have a shock box which I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna dig this out a little bit and put it, put it a little bit safer in here because I don't know if you guys know, uh, there was a highlight or something. If I can find it and maybe if it's not too bad quality, I'll, I'll insert it in a second. But yeah, uh, I had a problem with the uh, uh, gas and um, shock boxes before which was just and let's just say they don't go together at all you think i have a quartz mining addiction dude i haven't done it this season at all i do have quite a lot though although that that isn't technically that much that's maybe like four sacks if i'm lucky no don't you dare that just went in the fire didn't it oh i'm gonna cry that was the dumbest thing so yeah, if I inserted that right there, that was that was a pretty terrible time. That was a pretty terrible time. <laughs> I collected so much nether quartz. It was ridiculous. Anyway, uh, we're going to collect this up and try and shove it all in the shulker box and uh, try not to lose any or lava ourselves or lava the shulker box or anything like that. So yeah, I want that to, to smelt up the glass because I've co collected a whole bunch of sand. Uh, but obviously, I don't know, I'm running out of coal this season at the moment. So I thought it would be nice to... I don't have any nether... Rack. Oh, ho ho! That properly freaked me out. That was so loud in my ear right there. Oh my goodness! I've only just started playing Minecraft today. Everything just scares me when I when I just start a new game uh, or start up the game for the day. That was terrifying. Okay, right. Let me uh, let me do this uh, in peace and quiet and try and concentrate a little bit more because obviously I'm already derping today. And uh, I'll catch you guys up top in a second to start work on the gaming district hub. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to actually finish it today. That would be awesome. So well, let's get on with things. Okay, it's time to work on our hub. And by the way, we've actually made this. I made this in a live stream. It's sort of a shot, a shortcut. Oh my goodness, my voice. It's vanished. Oh no. That's better. Right, okay. I've got my voice back for a little bit. Um, yeah, so I've actually made a shortcut for myself. This is really only for myself. Um, and I was gonna add like a door or something. Someone said like a, a sand door would be awesome here. Like a little one that goes up and then down or like a gate. But I've only only just put a commission in for Mumbo to do doors at my black market. So I don't feel like I could be like, hey Mumbo, can you also do this? So uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, any any designs, uh, send me them on Twitter at full symmetry but um if not i will try and look up some sort of gate tutorial uh, or something that'd be really awesome to have that there and maybe even on this side as well if that one's not too bad because uh, this is sort of my my little um my little go through uh and i don't even know if i've showed you guys or mentioned this i built a uh, a tunnel in my live stream also to the nho and mesa it's just a massive ice path it looks like this all the way and because obviously it's got ice underneath it you can you can very very speedily run along so it's really, really awesome, and I'll make the entrance to that here at some point, and I don't think I'll do the whole tunnel, I might do like a front on it, or something that maybe looks like the NHO or the Mesa, or something simple, but uh, basically that is just a quick way from this hub, because otherwise you have to go down to the original hub, which is ages away. It's very difficult to get to, but anyway, today, 
we're finishing this off. We're, I'm, I'm, I've got the challenge. I've, the, the gauntlet has been thrown down to myself to finish this today. Maybe not the details. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll add extra stuff like breeding those, you know, little, little, little details like that. I need to breed up the pigs. I need to add some proper lighting in those other than torches. I need to do little, little things. But um, I need to get the other two games that I want to fit in here. Now, I've been hanging around in the games district for a little while and I've been trying to think up what games to insert because I've only got really two, room for two more because I want the games to be the same both sides. So this one works really well because there's two parts to it, but I've been trying to think of how to add two parts to other things. So for example, the lava doesn't really work unless I had a lava bucket one side, a water bucket the other side, but you can only see them from the top, so that makes it very difficult. Uh, cows, very, very simple. I could put cows both sides. Maybe I'll add some in between, maybe if there's room. Uh, but that's not really going to work super well. But I was thinking, with this ice path here, let's have a bit of a flyby, because you can't really see it from here. But because it sort of, like, drops off like that, I kind of like that. I think it just drops off straight. Yeah, here it does. Um, I like that idea. We can have the drop on one side of the... Like on one side of the nether uh, tunnel, and then the other side can be like the finishing line, which the finishing line I think is over here, and I think it's red. I've been trying to- oh, I've still got another act there from when I tried to collect the pigs, I should probably remove that. But yeah, the finishing line is here, and we could have some boats on it, and that kind of thing. I like that idea. Uh, and the other idea was- what was the other idea I had? Oh, I think I was going to use possibly the tangler, because that, you know, works. I can have, you know, I can build some sort of like- tangle looking thing one side and have it go all the way over and then to the other side as well and maybe even make it mirrored uh, and make it symmetrical both sides uh, so a bit more complicated to build because of its nature I don't know how Tango made this look so balanced and just really cool looking uh, it's actually quite difficult to build something like that I tried in creative mode because I was like I wonder if I could make something that looks somewhat like an arch it's very difficult it's very difficult so we'll see how that turns out uh, but anyway I need to remove this uh, nether rack that I used the other day because it's making a mess and uh, I'll catch you guys in the nether in a second to actually finally start building this thing I know I'm, I'm finally getting to it guys I know I'm sorry I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I ramble a lot like a stupid amount <laughs> Okay, I'm finally doing this. I think I'm going to get rid of these markers. These markers have been here for a while. Wait, what is this? What is this? Is this anything? <laughs> I've just come across a hole. That is my worst nightmare right now about, you know, coming coming across someone else's, like, tunnel or something. Like, how, how, how much of a nightmare would that be? Just being like, uh, sorry, I've suddenly, you know, appeared in your tunnel and now I'm going to build something crazy um, in it. Which, uh, which is not ideal, but we're fine, we're fine. I don't, I, I've, I've dug it out as much as it should be dug out, so it shouldn't be interacting with anything, it shouldn't be. So, I've done a little bit of pre-work here, I've, I've built, obviously, the sides of this so that I know where to build up to. I'll add the grass in a second. Um, so I've got the colour here, I've got purple, because I believe purple is around the ice path. So, I, as long as I keep changing the colours up as I go along, uh, and also that having purple in the middle is nice because it, it references the the portal colors. It's, it looks it looks very pretty. It looks very pretty. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start building the ice path. Now I've also brought some white and blue, which you'll see in a second what I'm going to do. Maybe even some glass. Don't know how that's going to work out. We'll leave the boats in there. Um, name tags are for if I ever decide to add any mobs to any of these things. But I've got some ice in here, and I'm thinking. Let's see how we're going to plan this out. Now, I think... What side shall we have the the hill? That side or that side? I reckon this side, because when I saw it, it looked like it was coming down from the right. So we'll have it come down from here. And I guess it'll sort of be, like, along here as well. So if we build, sort of in this space here, five along the ice... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, if we make it flush with the floor as well... This will work nice. In fact, it might even actually work as a an ice path too. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six back. Yeah, so let's go six back. And then we'll start working our way upwards. So I also have a nice idea of how to merge these two together. Because with that one there, they merge literally in the middle. They literally touch each other uh, in the middle. Um, but with this one, oh, going to have some lighting issues, that's fine. 
Uh, they're never so dark to work in. I've, I've got brought more torches with me today. And yeah, what I'm thinking is if we put a wall here. It's quite, oh, it's quite far in though. I was thinking this would go up to the ceiling. So like you wouldn't be able to actually launch yourself off of this. Um, but yeah. I mean, that sort of works, right? It's like, you know, and having the dark oak sort of along here. And obviously because it goes upwards, it does like come up here as well. And there's some sort of like archway, not, not archway, like a, uh, it goes up as a diagonal, I guess, sort of like that there. So if we do that both sides, um, we'll just sort of build a quick one here, like so. And then if we do it along here too, we'll add the finishing line somewhere in the middle on this side. Like this doesn't look too, too unlike what um, Wells built? Was it Wells and Azuma? I'm sort of also trying to mix up what Hermit bu Hermit's built different games, but I guess Azuma was also part of this one, right? I'm actually not sure. I didn't watch the video where they made it. Um, so I'm actually not sure exactly how much people, you know, what different people worked on, on different things. But that that looks pretty cool. I'm not sure about how, how much that blocks off that, but I think as you walk along, you'll notice that it's the path, there'll be boats on this side. But yeah, what I'm thinking, I don't have grass on me right now, but if I have grass, if I can grab it really quickly, do I have grass? I do. Yeah, so if I add grass in the center area, and what we can do, if I can place it quick enough, otherwise it's gonna be a super long episode. But we're we obviously gonna have this whole thing again. Uh, we'll put a torch there for now. But what if we sort of like, Merge it together by doing this sort of thing. You guys know I like to do this. I always I always do this. I always like break things up and make things sort of connected in this sort of way. I, I really like this, this way of doing things. Um, but yeah, sort of have it break, breaking into the path. That's going to look nice. Okay, cool. I'm going to work on this a little bit more. Uh, clean it up a little bit. And I think with the light blue and the white wall, I was going to make a fake sky this side. But it might look too similar to that. So maybe we'll just go with black, but I think that's gonna to be too intense having a wall of black, that side. It's very difficult to balance this, and I don't like the idea of a drop there and a drop there, there being completely symmetrical. But I guess that's easy to do later on if we decide to change it. So I'd rather go with this idea first and then, I don't know, I guess once I finish, I'll ask you guys what you think. And if you guys decide, you know, to change it, I will change it. But for now, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> right, so I don't know if this looks good or really bad. I think bad. I'm trying to cut off this area because this area is like, doesn't really matter. Um, it's going to be covered up a little bit, but I, maybe it's the fact that things look super unbalanced. I'm not sure. Because um, I can't like build this area here with wood this side because it's just not going to make sense, is it? But yeah, what I'm adding now is some glass, just to give it a bit more of a, a different texture, more than anything, to sort of, you know, replicate what's going on with the, that side a little bit more. It's quite a shiny, glassy texture. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, though. Well, it like you can see like a cloud shape in that. I think that's just lighting again. I don't know why I'm paying attention to this. Maybe in the nether the lighting's like so, so dim here that I'm starting to see, like if you have your smooth lighting really, really low, that's usually what happens. You can usually sort of see see the shapes and see sort of the, the, the edges of blocks where you haven't lit up well enough. And maybe that's what I'm seeing. But anyway, um, I'm not 100% sold on it basically. Yeah, I think I'm going to carry on building, and like I say, if by the end of this whole thing it doesn't look any better and I don't like it, uh, still, um, then we can go with the uh, building that on both sides perhaps. I have actually missed something though, thinking about it. I even picked them up. Uh, I don't have the, uh, the fences. One moment. There we go. Much better. That, that in itself actually already looks a little bit better. Uh, maybe we'll sort of add like a little bit of fencing this side sort of after the uh, after the finishing line. We could even add sort of the finishing line sort of as a pole towards the ceiling perhaps. I don't, I, this, is, this is sort of me just making it up as I go along now, trying to sort of merge the two sides together a little bit and get some height, maybe that side to balance it out. That doesn't look 
awful. Doesn't look great either though. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with that. We'll mess around with that. One thing I do want to add real quick though is I did bring some boats. Yes, uh, they're in that, that, that shock box nicely. And um, yeah, let's put one like here and one like here. Uh, that one obviously won. <laughs> and uh, maybe a pigman will get in them. And that's why I bought a name tag with me. Uh, I didn't need to rename the name tag. It is just Mr. OG. I don't even remember when and why I have a name tag named that. Uh, I don't know. But um, it doesn't really matter anyway. We're good. So uh, now I guess if we're on to the tangler. So I'm going to think mess around with some floor. Decide what size to make this thing. I don't know if maybe... I, this I've got... I've got quite a rectangular area left over though, which worries me a little bit. I was hoping it'd be more square because that's what the tangler is, but I don't know. We'll see if we can make this work. If not, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see. Let me do some planning first. Well, the planning has been completed and, um, yeah, like I said, <laughs> like I said, uh, there's a space. But that's okay. I've, I've, I've repurposed the space for something else. I've done this wrong here and here, haven't I? Oh, I wanted them to be exactly the same, but they don't. They don't light up. Oh, that's fine. We'll uh, move that one out one, maybe. We'll move it to, like, there. Oh, I know. <laughs> the blocks went a little bit crazy there. Yeah, move it to there instead, perhaps. Yeah, then that's symmetrical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll do that that side, too. Right, anyway, uh, enough about that. Uh, yeah, so what I've done is I've marked out the tangler. Now, what I did, like I mentioned earlier, is I built my version of the tangler in a uh, single-player creative world because... Doing it just straight on here and trying to make it symmetrical both sides without having a reference was just going to be impossible. But uh, I should have in this one. Yeah, there you go. I've also bought some extra blocks with me. Um, I've actually bought the colours of the Tangler. So uh, we've obviously got red, yellow, lime and dark blue. And um, it should look cool. Now, I've backed this with black because I think that ultimately we're not going to really need... Like, I don't know, anything behind this. Because you're not going to be able to see anything. In fact, I can't see anything right now. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm placing these blocks on the ceiling. Um, I literally can't see them. There we go. Bit of contrast would be nice. So I think what I'm going to do is build this side first. So we're going to fill in that. Uh, the reason I'm doing this side first is so I can actually still reach my shulker boxes through that gap. Uh, and we'll, we'll sort out of the torches and the lighting at some point. In fact, I just finished off uh, or or made the lighting in here look a bit better. Put a little sea lantern in, in, the, in the bottom there because I put torches in those because they were just too dark. And uh, I really, I really like that we did that. So, um, yeah, the Tangler's just going to be, I don't know, I sort of referenced the real Tangler a little bit with this. I sort of built the same sort of doorway. I don't know if you if you, if you see it, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that I've sort of referenced it, it in little bits. Um, but I guess what I'm going to do is build my version of the Tangler. Um, I'm sort of re replicating it off my screenshot right now, but I can't see all the screenshots. So I'm sort of just placing a few colours in. But I really like the orange floor for it. It works really nicely, and yeah, I mean, it's going to be the most colourful part of the whole area. Might be a bit intense, but yeah, we'll break it up with uh, maybe, I'm thinking this area, maybe mushrooms, but I'm not sure how to add them yet. This might be an, uh, an area that we might not finish, actually, today, if I can't come up with a good idea during the episode. So while I'm building the Tangler thing, uh, I'll think about that, and uh, I was going to I was gonna time lapse this, but I need my camera count to reference what it looks like, so I do it at the same both sides, because otherwise I'm going to be in a bit of a pickle, which is not going to be fun. So uh, next time you see me, <laughs> we'll have the Tangler built. Tangler has been built. It is pretty much symmetrical, and I really like the fact that it... Oh, hello, slippery, slippery floor, floor there. Uh, yeah, I like the fact that it's almost like a rainbow, sort of. It almost all, con all connects here. Now, you won't be able to see it through here. Yeah, it's not going to look great seeing it through there, so we might as well block this off now. We don't really need access to our shock boxes through that gap. Uh, have we blocked all this in? Yeah, so uh, the reason is, actually, the reason I had a lot of issues, other than leaving a lot more space than I... I uh, had anticipated. Uh, I uh, also moved this in one so that I can build like a wall here for this because I don't want this necessarily to be black down here. I mean maybe it will be but uh, but yeah that's why I sort of built that in there. I've also added a, a glass sort of thing. Also here. I'm thinking here might be quite because it sort of opens up into the nether a little bit here. Might be nice to have a bit of a balcony style thing or just something. Just I don't even know what. Something with glass maybe. I don't know. Uh, and then obviously NHO there, Games District there. We've got the two doorways, something maybe cool there. We can see in through this too. And um, 
yeah, it's, just, it's looking nice. I don't know what to do in these areas though, so I've just added a bit of lighting just to light the area up a little bit. And I think I'm gonna leave it because I have had an idea, one that I don't really know how to do yet. It's only just popped into my head like a like a minute ago, literally. Uh, as soon as I clicked recording, I was like, oh, this is a great idea. Maybe I could like pitch it to you guys and see what you guys think. Uh, have I got more flowers? I do, nice. Um, I've gone with the red and white theme throughout and I quite like it with the flowers. Uh, it's looking quite nice. Uh, but yes, um, the idea I have is to possibly build a never mini game, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know what it'll be, uh, but it could be like a, I don't know, a roller coaster or just, just something mini game esque. Not necessarily you play it with other people, but something where I can have the entrance in these areas here. Uh, so I know that I can definitely build below this because there's no one below. Joe is through this wall here. Uh, you can get to his via this end. I still haven't built the tent this end. I, I blocked it up up though because I did get a ghast in here the other day. Uh, but yeah, so, so it drove through here so I can't move that way but I think I can move that way as much as I like as well. So down that way and up um, are all spaces that I can use to possibly build a mini game or something. Now it'd be really great if it utilizes the nether or at least was nether themed. So this is where you guys come in. Let me know Either maybe you're someone that makes mini games, you can send me the idea on Twitter. Um, or maybe you just have, you know, an idea to pitch to me or whatever. You just have an idea that you're just going to like type it in the comments below and leave it. But yeah, I definitely think we could definitely have like a, you know, an entrance down into something here. Maybe entrance down here too. And then we can make sort of, a, you know, a design here related to the mini game too. So it's a very, very small area, but there is plenty of space surrounding it. So I'm not too worried about like limited space because we're not necessarily going to be, you know, um, using the space exactly for mini game. That would be a very, very small mini game. I mean, you could do it. You could have like, I don't know, players standing here, players standing over there and they fight to the death with arrows or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Let me know, guys. It's only like a, a full wide sort of thing. Um, maybe even... Uh, six wide here, but who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I, I'm, I'm pretty much done. I might add, I was thinking, um, maybe adding sort of something, how do I, you know how, um, Cobfan, um, in his hub sort of did the whole, uh, Starry Night sort of deal? He sort of put, uh, end rods in the black sort of, um, walls of his his hub but I think this I think that that works really well for cub because his hub is so large um but I think here it might be too much and also I don't really want it to be that lit up I like the idea that we've got like a bit of lighting in that bit of lighting in that bit of lighting in this bit of lighting in that or to just make the the those really stand out rather than the whole room being like lit up um hugely especially as we've gone with the dark ceiling I don't want to see the the texture of the concrete blocks but yeah I, I think temporarily we're just gonna you know add a bit of a, a wall here with black just to make it look that little bit nicer I might even add like a temporary floor um or something nah I think I'm gonna leave the nether rack it quite doesn't even look that bad to be honest but yeah guys let me know down below what you think uh leave a like obviously if you enjoyed the episode subscribe if you haven't already let me know what else you'd like to see me do on the server if there's any any other community things you'd like me to hook up. So like the NHO, that's now hooked up to the hub so that when it's up for download, you guys can get to it easily. So if there's anything like that that you think of that is a community thing that no one's built a tunnel for and you want access to at some point or you want to know where it is, let me know and I will do that kind of stuff because I mean, I've been enjoying it. I've been working on the community stuff and enjoying it a lot. So I want to do that some more. Anyway, that is it guys from me. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.